Hello friends, my name is Banji. Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will learn how to set up Groovy on Mac operating system as well as Windows operating system. After that, we will understand the process to integrate Groovy with one of the popular ID, which is Visual Studio Code. Just to let you know that in real time, we don't need to go through the setup process because we are going to use Groovy in JMeter. Since I haven't covered JMeter concepts yet and we need some playground to practice all the Groovy programming basics, that is why we are setting up Groovy. If you are watching this performance testing must have skills series for the first time please watch previous episodes of this series and then continue this video you can find the link to this playlist series in the description so without any further delay let's get started let's try to understand how to set up groovy on mac operating system so open your chrome browser and then type apache groovy from search results go to their official website which is https groovy langorg so just click on that link in their official website go to the documentation section and click on the install groovy under getting started sections in this page they have given all the details to download the Groovy as well as to install it. Before installing any software, we need to make sure that its prerequisites are met. So go to the prerequisites section in this page to understand if Groovy has any prerequisites. So here they mentioned that Groovy 4.0 requires Java 8 plus. That means if you want to install Groovy 4.0, then you need to make sure that Java 8 plus version is already installed on your laptop. So how do we know Java is already installed? So go to your terminal, type Java hyphen hyphen version. Don't worry, I will provide you all the links that I am going through here as well as the commands that I am using it. So once you type Java hyphen hyphen version, if Java is already installed, then it will populate the installed version. If Java is not installed, then it will not show anything. After typing Java hyphen hyphen version, once we hit the enter, it will look for whether Java is installed or not. So in this laptop, it is telling that Open JDK 16th version is already installed. That means Java 16 version is already installed on, on this laptop. So what is JDK? JDK is nothing but Java development kit. It mainly consists of three things. One, the java packages java virtual machine and java runtime environment so this is a so this jdk provides the tools necessary to write java programs that can be executed and run by the jvm and java runtime environment i'm already fulfilled the prerequisites of groovy in case in your mac if java is not installed then what you need to do is you need to go to the new tab in the chrome and type java download for mac from the search results go to the oracle website just click on the java downloads link so here it is telling that the latest version of java is java 21 and if you want to install java 21 then you need to follow the instructions provided here so based on the operating system we need to use one of the link if we are using linux then we need to understand what is the architecture of linux we have and then select the appropriate link and same thing for mac os as well as windows since it is a mac operating system and this laptop is with arm64 architecture i am selecting this specific link so once i click this link what it will do is it will try to download the package on the downloads folder so the package has been downloaded so what we need to do is we just need to click on that package so it will extract the .pkg file just double click again on the .pkg file it is showing the installation pop-up window so here we need to follow the instructions provided here we just need to follow the instructions so this is first a welcome page we don't need to do anything just click on the continue in this screen they are telling that how much space they are going to use to install java if i am going to install java 21 they will use 336 mb of space so i am okay with that and just click on the install any software installation requires admin privileges so it is asking me to type the administrative password and then click install software once we click on install software it will try to install java on this laptop once the installation was completed then it will give us this message that install succeeded if you want to go through some documentation and access their tutorials you can click on the link since our objective here is just to install java so we can close this window it will ask the confirmation whether we want to move the downloaded dmg file to trash so i'm okay to move it to trash so just click on the move to trash if you don't want to move to trash you can click on keep i'm okay to move it to trash so i'm just clicking on the move to trash button again go back to the terminal now type again java hyphen hyphen version and then press enter if you see earlier i have jdk 16 version now i have java 21 installed i hope java installation process is clear to you let's quickly make some notes to make sure that we are not missing anything here java 8 plus is required and also copy the java download okay as we have completed java installation we can close this window and then go back to the installation section so to install Groovy on Mac, we have different options. I'm going to use Homebrew option because it is very easy way to install any software. Basically, Homebrew is a package manager which we can use to install any software. So if you want to follow this step, you need to make sure that Homebrew is already installed on your laptop. Again, you can go to Homebrew website. This is their official website. If you don't have Homebrew installed, then you can execute this command that will install the Homebrew. And then you can follow the Groovy installation using Homebrew. Let me copy this link as well.
let me type the brew command brew install groovy you might be thinking by typing this command what version am i going to get right if you want to understand what is the version that brew is going to install before executing that command you can type brew info groovy so it will show us the package information so it is telling that if we if we try to install through brew then we are going to get groovy 4.0.15th version so we are okay with that so let's type brew install groovy once you type that command it will try to download the required packages and and then and then install groovy on this mac now the installation is done only one thing we need to do is we need to export this groovy home environment variable so that we can access groovy from anywhere so let's export so this is important step try to export this groovy underscore home variable with this we have completed groovy installation on mac with this installation we basically get two things one groovy shell and the another thing is groovy console so if you want to access groovy shell you should type groovy sh so in this groovy shell you can type any groovy command so it will execute and then give us the output for example if i am saying print hello world it will execute that print command and show us the output so you can use this shell for any quick test if you want to come out from this shell just type colon q it will execute from this shell if you want to access groovy console then you need to type groovy console so it will open up groovy console where we can type groovy command or groovy programs you can type the same command print hello world and then go to the script menu run it will execute that command and share the output generally groovy shell is not meant for writing programs basically we can use groovy shell to execute any specific groovy commands and groovy console can be used to write programs but mostly all the developers will use integrated development environments to write any programs we will also use visual studio code to execute all groovy programs with this we have completed the groovy setup on mac operating system if you have any questions on this installation process please feel free to mention it in the comment section now let's try to understand how to install groovy on windows open your chrome browser and then look for apache groovy again in the search results open the apache groovy official website which is https groovy hyphen lang.org you can go to the documentation page and then from the getting started section you can click on the install groovy so you can go to installation on windows so before we proceed any further we need to make sure that java is already installed on this windows laptop so open your command prompt you can open the run dialog and type cmd click ok so it will show you the command prompt here you can type the same command java hyphen hyphen version if java is already installed on this windows laptop it will show up the installed version if it is not installed then it will not show anything so for typing java hyphen hyphen version press enter so in this case i have java already installed on this laptop in your case if java is not installed then again you need to you need to go to oracle website to download java type java download for windows go to java downloads link and then go to windows and select the appropriate link and download and install it the process is very simple you just need to click on the appropriate installer link once you click it it will download a, an installer and just double click and follow the instructions if you want to know the detailed instructions this site also has that information so if you click on the installation instructions it will show you the details so you need to select the microsoft windows link so that will give you the the windows installation instructions so it will tell you what are the requirements that you need to meet in order to install java so i will also share you this link in the note you can follow the steps mentioned here and then install java after you complete the installation and then go back to command prompt again make sure you are getting the installed version information after you type java hyphen hyphen version once you are done with this you can close this command prompt and go back to apache groovy and then go to the installation on windows section click on the windows installer so it will take us to their artifactory page where different windows installer versions are available since we want to install the latest version which is 4.0.15 so select that 4.0.15 link and it will take you to the next page where the executable is available so click on that 4.0.15.msi link so what it will do is it will try to download that package to to downloads directory so go to your downloads directory groovy 4.0.15 has been downloaded so just double click on that if you are also getting this kind of message you can click on more info and then select run since this is registered as unknown publisher that is why it is not directly allowing us to run it but you can click on more info and then click run then it will pop up this dialog box so you can just click next here and select the terms and agreements and then click next you have an option to choose the type of installation that you want basically for our practice purpose typical will do so we don't need to select anything just click typical and then click install it will again go through the 
installation process it will install all the dependencies and everything once the installation is done we can click finish button so with this we have successfully installed groovy to verify the groovy installation again you can open the command prompt and type groovy hyphen hyphen version so it will tell us what is the version that it has installed and it will also showing us the jvm because like i mentioned in my initial introductory video that groovy will run on java virtual machines it is showing us that jvm version as well if you want to invoke groovy shell you can type groovy sh here you can type any groovy commands to test if it is working or not so here i am just gave you a print statement so it is printing that output if you want to quit from this shell you can type colon q if you want to invoke groovy console from command prompt you can type groovy console it will invoke the groovy console so here you can again type anything you want to test so don't worry about the syntaxes i will go through these things in the upcoming video so just type print and with double quotation hello world and go to script menu and then click run button so it will execute that command and show the output with this we have completed groovy installation process on windows now let's move on to our next topic which is integrating groovy with ide you must be wondering what is ide ide is nothing but integrated development environment basically it is a software application that helps programmers to develop software code more efficiently it increases their productivity by combining so many capabilities such as software editing building testing and packaging so groovy can be integrated with different ides so let's quickly go to their official website again open chrome and type apache groovy go to their official website click on the documentation section go to tools and then click on the ide integration so here it is telling that groovy can be integrated with different ides so we have groovy eclipse plugin available to integrate groovy with eclipse we have intellij integration available netbeans textmate vim ultra edit silk edit edit rocket visual studio code so every id integration they are telling what are the features that we are going to gain if you take vs code as an example we have a syntax highlighting feature available for groovy as well as the code refactoring feature but we don't have code completion feature don't worry we are not going to develop any application using groovy we just wanted to learn some basics so vs code will definitely a user friendly ide that many people will use to develop the software application so we will also try to install visual studio code to learn groovy concepts so to install visual studio code you can click on the vs code link it will take us to the visual studio code website so here you can click on the download mac universal link which will download the visual studio code so you can go to your download section and then double click on the zip file it will extract the actual visual studio code application so you just need to double click on the visual studio code application so it will open up the visual studio code since we are opening for the first time it is asking the confirmation is it yes to open this is the visual studio code ui so you can use this visual studio code application to practice groovy basics to organize all our programs it is always uh, better to create a separate folder so we can group all our practice files into one location so go to the finder and go to documents and create a new folder we can name it as groovy tutorials you can close this after that and then click on the visual studio code application go to file open folder and go to documents select groovy tutorials click open basically you are trying to store all your groovy practice files into one location that is why we have created a separate folder name separate folder called groovy tutorials and we will use that folder to store all our future files we have downloaded visual studio code and installed it now we need to integrate groovy with this visual studio code we can do that by installing some extensions so on the left hand side there are different options available like explorer search source control run and debug and extensions so click on the extensions and in the search bar type code groovy select the first link code hyphen groovy developed by marlon franca and then click install button so it will install the groovy extension once it is done go back to explorer and then create a new file click on the new file and type hello world dot groovy all the groovy files are ends with dot groovy extension so try to give the dot groovy name so here we can type print hello world in order to run this program you need to invoke the terminal go to terminal section and then click new terminal here you need to use groovy and then file name hello world dot groovy so it will execute the file and show the output since we are asking groovy to print hello world so it executed that print command and shows us the output 
The Visual Studio Code installation process on Windows as well as integrating Groovy with Visual Studio Code is pretty much similar. What you need to do is you just need to go to Chrome again, download the Visual Studio Code installer file for Windows. So you can type Visual Studio Code for Windows. From the search results, click on the download Visual Studio Code link and from the operating systems, you can choose Windows. And based on the architecture, you can select the, the appropriate link and once you downloaded the installer, you can just double click on the installer it will install the visual studio code and then you can install code groovy extension on visual studio code so that's it for this video thank you so much for staying till the end i hope you understood the installation process of groovy java as well as visual studio code in case any specific process is not clear please feel free to mention it in the comment section all the notes have been uploaded in github and you can find the link in the description if you are new to our channel please consider subscribing it if any of your friends interested in learning performance testing concepts please share this series link to them so that they will learn all these concepts for free and get benefited. I'll see you with our next video in this module. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep learning.